it was a great time, you know, it was a great time to be young in New York um, and to be involved in the music. And I was pretty humble um, at that time in my life. I'd like to think that I'm still fairly humble, but I was focused and I, I really wanted to engineer. And I felt like if I engineered first, then I could get, get on and, and do my music. I, I guess I didn't feel like I was ready yet at that time. Again, like I'm Which only is... 20, I'm only 20, 21, you know, 22. Like I'm young when I'm working at Ozone. I'm young when I'm working at Jux. So like I, but I was also present of my own limitations and, and maybe, maybe I, maybe I should have just pushed harder. You know, I, I think about that every so often, like, you know, cause I, I, I mean, I could have, I, I feel like I probably could have gotten more stuff out on Def Jokes if I was that kind of person, if I wanted to just push it to L. I mean, I was with them every day for years, you know, for like right. five years, I was with them basically five days a week. So I could have gotten anything out, I guess, you know, like, I mean, we, we put the woke single out the presence and um, I've got some different productions, you know, some beats here and there, but um you know, if I was that kind of dude, but, but I didn't want, you know, I was trained to be an engineer before all this happened, before I was at Ozone or Jokes, like my training as a recording engineer was really important to me. And when I interned at 17 and when I was learning from the OGs at IAR, like it was very much told to you, like, don't sweat the musicians, like do not distract them when you're setting up their drum kit when you're getting their mic levels, when you're recording, don't give feedback, don't interrupt them, don't pal around, you're there for work. And, you know, to some degree, I, maybe I took that too seriously, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, that was, that was who I was. You ask any of those guys that I recorded, I never, you know what I mean? Like they would have to ask me repeatedly for my, if they wanted it, they would have to ask me repeatedly to get my opinion on a take or whatever. It just was not in my makeup as an engineer to this day. I mean, I've recorded you, you know, unless yeah. I'm actively, you know, producing, you know, if I have the producer hat on and the recording hat on, then maybe I'll say, oh, no, maybe do that, do the last part. Let me punch the last part in for you. Let me do this. Let me do that. But otherwise, I'm gonna let you do what you do. And then well, we're gonna we're gonna find like, this is not just you, this is anybody. I mean, we're gonna find out how good it is when we mix it, right? Like, right. <laughs> you know I mean, well, time will tell. Like, it, but you know, people got to produce themselves to some degree, and I've always had that approach, and and that carried with me from Ozone, and from Jokes, and that's why, you know, um, my mentality was not to send a demo to get on. You know, my mentality was to send a resume to get on, and that that was just who I was then, and. I mean, it's still a small part of me now, but um, that was certainly who I was when I was a young man, you know? Well, I mean, it, it makes sense. And it, it, it speaks, um, it's interesting that you had the wherewithal to know your limitations you know, potentially as an artist back then, you know, because, you know, you and I, you know, knowing each other, we pretty much started musically around the same time. Mm -hmm. So in 2001, when I was doing my thing with my group, we put a, you know, like a demo, like it was like a demo at the time we thought it was an album, but as you, as you go, as you go back, you realize that's more of a demo album mm -hmm. because you know, there's flashes there of what you're going to do as an artist later. Um, but, you know, we didn't, you know, at the time we didn't really know how to write songs and we didn't really know how to structure certain, certain things. It was just like throw the beat on, we're going to rap, you know, 32 bars and then, okay, we're done. One of us is done rapping. Let's put a chorus here. And that's just what it was. Like there was no, <clears throat> there was no um, rhyme to reason what we were doing at that time, because we didn't, we just wanted to rap and we just wanted to be dope and you know, whatever, whatever. Um, so it's, it's cool that you had that, um, that um, self-awareness to be like this, this piece of me isn't, quite where I want it to be just yet so I'm going to focus on this and use this to get where I need to be you know whether it was you know going to be with Def Jux or you know obviously your own thing now mm -hmm. um so that and I didn't I didn't know that up until right now so that's pretty cool yeah 
I mean, you know, that part of me is still guided by that kind of principle, you know, like I, 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 I am still of that mind, you know what I mean? Like I, you know, I've gotten interviews and uh, questions and interviews sometimes like, oh, you know, like, how do you, you know, you're, you're, you're engineer and you're, you make beats and you rap and, and blah, blah, blah. And like, how do you do, you know, how is it doing all of those things? And my answer is always like, well, you have to do one of them at a time first, you know, and like during this time period of my life, like I was an engineer first and that's, that was right. my main thing. Then I worked on beats. Then I worked on getting my subject matter and my, my raps down. And like, it kind of did. I mean, obviously there's this overlapping gray area in between those things. And there was a lot of simultaneous shit going on for me, but, um, but that is essentially how it happened, you know? And um, I, I was a fan, you know, when I, when I showed up, I was a huge fan.